Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at OneNote versus Wiki. So we'll have a look at OneNote integration into Teams, how to set it up as a tab, and then we'll go through some of the differences between that and Wiki. So by the end of this video, you'll understand some differences between search, app mentioning, just the setup and the structure of both of them, and we'll have a look at the differences in co-authoring between Wiki and OneNote as well. My name's Gavin Jones, I'm a Transformation Manager for a Fortune 500 company in my day job and all of these tips have either come out of real life examples in, our, in my day job or from comments that we've got on YouTube. We've got a new video coming out on Teams every Tuesday so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video and without further ado let's get in and look at, at OneNote and Wiki in Teams. Okay, so here we are in Teams and we're in the test team that we use for all of our YouTube videos. And if we click on the Wiki tab, every time we set up a new channel that's not general, you get a Wiki tab created for you. Um, this one is one we created back in the Wiki for Meetings video, which I'll link up in the description below, as well as, well as our original Wiki video, which will go into Wiki in a bit more depth than we are doing now. And you can see this is where we uh, put our meeting agenda, so we can put some agenda at the top, um, you can insert some pictures, some tables, we've got links back to files, uh, and we've got a section for our notes further down, um, and even actions back to, uh, even links back to planner actions. So uh, we've already got Wiki set up, let's just go ahead and add a tab for OneNote. Um, so we click the plus icon, click on OneNote. So you can either pick an existing notebook if you've already got a OneNote started to add to the team. We've already got one in the team, which we used for the testing of this project uh, when it was live. And you can add uh, a, a new section even into um, that existing notebook, which we'll come on to later because the structure of Wiki and Teams is slightly different. We're just gonna create a brand new notebook and we'll call it uh, YouTube Notebook say save that and then that's going to set up a OneNote that's saved in the SharePoint site that's associated with your team and it is then by default available to anybody in the team so if we um, if you've never used OneNote before we'll just go through some of the structure of OneNote which is slightly different to wiki so uh, OneNote I guess is more like having an old school binder of notes so where you might have an a4 pad with little sections uh, popping up on the left hand uh, on the right hand side with colored cards we could flip to the right section so maybe if it was like a calendar you could have january february all down the side you could flick it might be like notes or contacts or whatever in a in an old school sort of file of facts that's how one note is structured so you've got a OneNote notebook, which is, I guess, like the book. And then the sections, as you can see in this little icon, are like those little um, pop-up tabs down the side. So first thing we need to do is enter a section, which we'll just call testing for now. And then within that section, you can see that nice little blue color. You can then have a series of pages. So um, if we click onto page one, uh, in OneNote, you can take notes sort of anywhere you want. Um, so you can type some text here, you can click in here, um, any way you want. You can also go back and click in the same bit of text, but it's a bit more free form uh, note taking on the page rather than wiki. As you can also see, it's a fully fledged app that happens to be shown in a tab. And as such, we've got a lot more options in OneNote. I guess it's more like Excel Online that pops up as a tab rather than sort of Wiki, which is, I guess, is a sort of cut down, cut down version just for Teams. So we've got all the options you would expect, bold highlighting, whatever thing you can do with text. You can start entering sort of little check boxes, uh, which is sometimes quite handy. Uh, which I think on Microsoft's roadmap, they do have uh, as part of their grand plan to integrate tasks from wherever they're created across uh, Office 365 suite. 
Um, at the moment, these tasks or checkboxes don't go anywhere else, but I think the plan is to link them up to Planner, uh, to do and Outlook tasks all together. Um, you can also then tag bits of your text, so important questions, uh, remember for later, loads of useful stuff, and then they're all searchable, which brings me on to the, uh, one of the biggest differences between OneNote and Wiki, which people um, might, uh, might be the reason people pick one or the other. Uh, Wiki at the moment in Teams seems like you can't search anything in Wiki. So even within, if you're in a channel and in a tab, a Wiki tab, there is no option to search that wiki. If you search the command box at the top, um, that only searches messages, people and files, and seems to miss out anything in any of the wikis, um, which is uh, slightly frustrating, uh, but the way we're using wiki in my day job is, is not too much of an issue for us because we're using it to collate a lot of information together um, and actually you're probably just going to go to the wiki to find that link rather than there being lots and lots of notes there that you want to search through. Um, if you have got lots of notes, one note is the way to go, I would say. If we jump back to our uh, OneNote notebook, let me just drag this here so we can get back to it easy. Um, because it's more fully fledged project product, then search is all throughout OneNote. So if I just search for task, it's going to highlight all those three things we just did. Um, and we can jump to the right page or the right section and everything. So search is, I guess, more as you would expect from an office product in OneNote because it's a, it's a proper office product uh, in that regard. So you can have multiple sections. Um, so if you had a section, if you want to uh, IT project, say, you might have a section for a uh, concept, uh, maybe one for design or any projects, I guess, not just an IT project. Um, you can, and then keep the pages together. And then you have pages of notes. Um, so it might be like a, a page for a meeting. Um, it might be a page for something else, a uh, design concept or something, maybe. I'm sure that should be in the design section. I've already broken my uh, filing structure. Um, and then OneNote syncs with uh, everything. So I guess this is just the OneNote online uh, version that's then pinned as a tab. You can open it in browser or you can open it in the app. And without getting into too much debacle about which app it's going to open, because there's uh, an Office 2016 app version of OneNote on your desktop, even if you've got Windows 10 and a Windows 10 version of OneNote, uh, which will appear on your desktop. Um, I use the Windows 10 version because I think I just prefer having the, the sections down the left hand side, same as the online version. The 2016 version has got them across the top, which was a bit of an older design uh, decision. But you can open multiple um, notebooks in one version of your OneNote desktop. So for this one, I've just got my own personal one open, you can link a shared OneNote notebook into your desktop app and then do all the same things uh, in OneNote without going back into Teams. So the way we used it for testing when we did the original project um, was to have true co-authoring. We had a shared OneNote notebook pinned into Teams we got everybody that was doing the testing, so about 10 people, to open that OneNote notebook in their OneNote desktop app. It's getting quite confusing saying OneNote so many times. Um, and then they can all work on their own PCs uh, with all the benefits of all the desktop app has, um, such as alt tab to switch between programs, taking screenshots and dropping them straight in to show their testing results. Um, and all of that is like true co-authoring in, in OneNote. So that they'll then automatically all sync um, without doing anything and it's available to everybody else to see um, pretty much in real time. Wiki on the other hand, uh, sorry for jumping around. Uh, Wiki on the other hand is, like I say, a cut down version probably of OneNote. So 
the just to cover off the co-authoring bit as soon as i click in to one section of a wiki page um, that purple line denotes that I'm editing that section and then no one else can edit that section at that time until I click out of that section. So if I click into it, get a purple line and that is then locked for everybody else but me to edit. One note, true co-authoring um, in that you can edit multiple lines at the same time on the same page, much like Word is now. So the other thing that as I'm talking then that obviously the structure of wiki is very different which again is a cut down version so we've got one wiki instance in every um, tab you can't really go back and see some of the wikis from other tabs apart from going at uh, sorry channel can't really see another wiki until you go into another channel and then the wiki in that channel is arranged in pages and then sections of a page which is the opposite of OneNote as you want remember that's arranged in sections of a book say is the most analogous thing sections of a book and then pages within that section so completely the reverse one note as, as i say is, is a more fully fledged product and as well as having sections uh, and pages you can have groups of sections and groups of pages so if I just flip on back onto my personal notes, I've got it set up in the uh, sort of para method uh, mixed with a bit of GTD. Um, so I've got my inbox ready to accept anything and then file them away in the relevant place. So don't have any live projects at the moment because nothing's finishing. Everything's that I'm working on in my day job is an area because um, I want to maintain it. Um, but then these are a, a section groups here. So I've grouped all the areas together, that's a section group. And then each one of these colored uh, blobs is then a section. And then also then I've got pages and then groups of pages as well to keep stuff together, um, which you cannot do in Wiki because it, it's just not, um, you know, it's just a, a more cut down version of taking notes. Uh, as well as being a desktop app, there's an iPad app and tablet app. And if you've got a, um, PC with a uh, touchscreen or you've got a Surface Pro or something like that, you can then just go ahead and uh, draw right onto the screen and take notes that way. If you had an iPad and Apple Pencil, um, you could be taking notes like that as well. And then you can do loads of cool stuff that um, Sure, in Microsoft other videos where you can highlight your text, convert it into a sort of better handwriting. Um, you can always go and mix drawings and um, computer text as well. Uh, and like I say, it's just a bit more freeform, a bit more like having a, a true page of notes where you might mix up drawing at uh, computer text, handwritten text with a pencil, highlighting sections, pages, whatever. It's just a much better way of keeping notes um, if that's what you want to do. The, uh, I guess the downsides of OneNote is that, um, as you've noticed, it's a small fully fledged project, product. So if you click in Wikitab, it's pretty quick to load because it's just loading a very simple sort of web page eff effectively. If you click into OneNote, it's got to load that web app, so it's a bit slower to load. And if um, if you haven't then trained how your team is gonna use OneNote, or if your team doesn't use OneNote already, like uh, our users didn't, didn't even know what OneNote was, it's a completely alien concept, to then dive them straight into another app with lots of uh, ribbon options, checklists, sections and pages, probably the stuff that you want them to have access to might get lost quite quickly, um, especially if you just want to take some quick meeting minutes and send those out uh, so everyone can see them. Wiki's probably a lot easier just for that one use case. If you want to keep all the project documents together, uh, OneNote is the way to go because it's just so much better in that regard. Um, other big difference is, like we said in the Wiki uh, video, you can at mention people from a wiki 
Um, so if I at mention myself, then I'll get tagged in that wiki and it'll post into the conversations thread for me. So it's a, a lot better integrated into Teams um, in that regard. Uh, and obviously, like I said before, whenever you set up a new channel, you get a wiki tab created for you. So it's sort of there waiting for waiting for input once you to use it. And then also you can have a chat around each section. So obviously it's arranged in pages and sections of a page. But for every section of a page, you have a little chat I, chat box icon. So as well as being able to out mention people in the actual wiki document itself, you can then have a conversation thread specifically about a very small segment of that page. So you're directing people exactly where to go. In OneNote, you can't at mention someone and it integrates into Teams. Um, I think Microsoft are working on being able to at mention or comment um, anywhere you are uh, in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and then all of that pings to the right place. Um, but at the moment, I unless, unless I'm doing something wrong, let me know in the comments. I don't think you can at mention people from OneNote. So you then have to put something separate in the conversations thread and probably link to that page. So you can copy a link to that page, but then you'd have to go into the conversations thread, at mention the person you want to update it, say, and then paste that um, link in. And then every time you get a link from OneNote, it actually gives you two links. Uh, and Teams has been good in that it's condensed those links into a bit of text for us. But like, the first link is to open the OneNote uh, desktop app. The second link is to open the web app. Um, so again, if it's completely alien and you're trying to sort of push your users to use something to take notes, whereas they might usually um, use Excel documents and email them around and you're doing a transformation project to try and get Teams usage up, um, using OneNote would jump them out either into the web or jump them out into their desktop app. Um, in that link, it wouldn't link you then back through to the tab. You could obviously get a link from the tab by uh, getting copy link to tab, but then it might jump them into a page that you don't want them to see because it might be you've got loads of stuff in here. You can't then link back to a specific page. Wiki solves all that problem because like I just said, you can out mention the person directly in the wiki or you can chat specifically about that section which is why we went for wiki uh, for our usage. But I guess we like just to reiterate again, when we did have a bigger project. We did use some OneNote features specifically for that purpose and said, put all of your testing documentation here. Here's how it works. And people liked it then, but as we're rolling out teams for sorry, over 150 people now in each team, it's just a bit, we just felt a bit too much training to get done in one go. So how do you, you find Wiki and OneNote? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a like if you like the video. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. What do you think of OneNote and uh, Wiki? Let us know in the comments below. Which one do you use? Which one do you prefer? Uh, which one's better for personal versus team stuff? Uh, let us know in the comments and start a bit of uh, dialogue going. And then at me time, we love teams for collaboration, uh, video chat, taking notes, we think it's amazing. We still think there's a big opportunity for big businesses to get better at running meetings. And we've got a timer app in the iOS app store called MeTime, as you might expect. Uh, we'd love it if you went and ch checked it out. Search for MeTime in the iOS app store or go to www.metimeapps.com if you need any more information. So thanks for watching this far and we'll see you in the next video.